Hello everyone, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. A couple videos ago, I showed you guys what was on my iPhone, and I thought I'd go into a little bit more detail about two of those apps that I use to edit my Instagram photos. So the two apps that I use to edit my Instagram photos are Afterlight and ViscoCam. Afterlight has a lot of really fun features that I think that you can be super creative with your photos on how you want to edit them, how you want to express your style and your vision for what you want your Instagram photos to look like. And ViscoCam is a more professional, simplistic version of what you want your photos to be. It doesn't have all the features that Afterlight has, but it also has some that Afterlight doesn't have. Now, Afterlight is a dollar in the App Store and has in-app purchases if you want to buy more filters, and ViscoCam is free in the App Store and it also has in-app purchases if you want to buy more filters. And for all of you guys wondering, I actually use ViscoCam presets to edit all of my professional photography photos. So let's just get started. So this is the app Afterlight. So right here, you can choose to take a picture or you can choose to upload one from your camera roll. So this is one that I haven't actually edited yet, so I'm gonna use that. So this is the bar down here with all the icons that shows you different things that you can do. So right now I'm gonna crop it to make it a square for Instagram. The rest of these are just different types of filters. I'm just gonna go through here and choose some of the ones that I like. So that one looks good. This is the bar that you can adjust the filter if you want the filter to be more dramatic or if you want less of that look. Then you can go in this section and this is a fade button. I always like to add a good fade to my photos. And then this section with the film strip, give it more of a vintage feel, a light leak. Some of these are really cool. This is the one that I like to use the most. It is number 25. You can actually rotate the color for the light leak that you want. This one's real pretty, it's like a pink purple. And then you can make it look like a Polaroid if you want. Want. Just different things that are really interesting and cool with this app. Also, this is the app that I want to use if my picture isn't a square and I want to include all of the picture in it. So you see these little two parallel lines right here? Click that and then it just adds the lines to your photo to make it a square so you can actually use it in Instagram. You click done and then you can upload right to Instagram or send it directly to your camera roll. So this is the second app that I use to edit my Instagram photos. This is the main one that I use and I like it probably the best because I like the filters the best. And here's to my library so that these are all the photos that I've actually edited and uploaded to my Instagram. I'm gonna click the plus button which you can import your photo that you want so I'm just going to import the same one that I was using and I'm gonna click the edit button so it throws you into all of the filters and some of these filters I had to buy because I really liked them they only come with a finite amount of free filters but then when you scroll all the way to the right click shop and then you can scroll through all the filters that are either on sale or that are new some of them are free or 99 cents see this one is new modern and it's 99 cents and it gives you about three filters and then I'm just gonna select a filter that I like honestly I usually go through every single filter depending on the photo and just pick the one I like the best so I'm gonna decide on this one and then if you click it again you can actually adjust the filter for the look that you want see this one looks a little too green to me so I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit so using all of these tools you can actually edit the picture a little bit more for your taste one feature I do like on this is that if you click this little silhouette and what it does is that it softens your skin tone if you have blemishes like I do so it actually actually evens everything out. And then when that's all done, it goes into my library. So what I do is either save to camera roll, you can upload it to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, just to save my pictures on my camera roll to have a backup if I ever need it. And then I go straight to my Instagram app and upload it from there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys found how I added my Instagram photos a little bit helpful in what I do, my little tips and tricks. And if you guys have any more questions regarding how I added my Instagram photos or how I go about certain things, be sure to leave those in the comments below. And I I will be sure to type all my responses back to you. And I will see you very soon. Bye.